I spawned in the nether and food was scarce. Okay, that's a lot of mushrooms there. I've seen a lot of brown mushrooms. I was looking for mushrooms to pick when I was attacked by blazes. <gasps> no, are you kidding? My health kept ticking down, pushing me closer to the brink of death. To show you how I got myself into this situation, I need to bring you back to the beginning. I had just started a new Minecraft world, but this isn't any ordinary Minecraft world. Instead of spawning into the overworld, I began my journey in the nether. This means that my resources are limited, and I need to be careful to avoid the dangerous mobs found in the nether. I spawned in next to some trees, and began to harvest them for their wood. It's lucky I spawned next to this thing, because if I did not spawn next to trees, it could take me forever to find this. I have a respawn anchor that will allow me to respawn in the nether. This anchor only has four charges, meaning that if I die four times, I won't be able to respawn. Okay, well there's the, <laughs> there's, there's the uh, fortress. I don't think I'm ready to go in there and fight the blazes yet. Uh, soon, soon. First thing I need to do is make some stone tools and there's one specific block in the nether that will let me do that. You can make stone tools with this, right? No. Okay, it's a different block, not this block. Is it this block? Oh, this is the same block. Okay, it's not that block either. It must be this, right? Yes, okay. After crafting myself the strongest tools possible with the resources found in the nether, I was planning on going to the fortress to collect blaze rods, but I forgot that I would need food before I could begin to fight any blazes. Okay, oh, I don't have food. How am I gonna get food? Okay, I didn't think about this. The plan was to kill hoglins for their pork chops. I headed over to the nearest crimson forest ready for a fight. Oh, oh, it's a baby one. They don't drop food, do they? But if there's a baby, that there must be... Yes, a parent. I'll just go orphan that, uh, orphan that hoglin real quick. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, this isn't good. Well, I've lost one charge. I have three lives left. I quickly ran back to the Crimson Forest to retrieve my lost items. There are so many things just around where I died. Are they eating my dead corpse? What are they doing? There's like four of them. I got my crafting table at least. That's something. Oh no. Okay. Okay, okay, I have a plan, I have a plan. I have a plan. Why aren't they, where, what is happening? Okay, I've lost two charges, I have two lives now. Okay, I'm not going back for my stuff. My stuff's gone. I died again. After my second death, I realized that the Crimson Forest was much too dangerous for me. I would need even better gear in order to take on the mobs within the Crimson Forest. This means that I need a new plan for food. Oh, I guess I can have mushroom stew. I didn't even think about that. I can just make mushroom stew. With this new plan, I set out in order to find mushrooms. Where are the mushrooms? Okay, that's a lot of mushrooms there. I've seen a lot of brown mushrooms. And there are, they're down on the fortress next to a blaze spawner. So they're a little risky. Please don't spawn blazes. I'm just collecting some mushrooms. I'm just a friendly, friendly mushroom picker. You wouldn't, you wouldn't hurt a mushroom picker, would you? Boom. I really need more brown mushrooms though. I found them. They were just down here. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get so much mushroom soup from this. This is great. So that's like what? 12? I got 12 mushroom soups right now. Now having enough food, I made my way over to the nether fortress. I need to collect at least six blaze rods from killing blazes. Only having stone tools and no armor, this will be an even bigger challenge than before. Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> Oh, there's a blue spawner right there. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not gonna die here. I'm good. Okay, and I got a blaze rod. I'm good. Okay, three spawned. I don't like that. Three is too much. Okay, killed another one. Okay. Okay. I'm killing them all. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I just managed to escape. He dropped the blaze rod. Okay, what am I at now? Four. Okay, this is actually going pretty good. Not going good, not going good, not going good. These soups do not heal you for anything. They give I get like one heart every time I eat a soup. Three three more blaze rods. That's doable. There's like eight blazes here. Surely there's gotta be three blaze rods somewhere. Come on, fall down the hole, blazes. Come fall down the hole. Oh, yes, he fell in my pit! He fell in my killing pit! It worked! I got a blaze rod! Oh, blaze rod. Yes, okay. How much am I at? How much am I at? Eight! Oh, that's enough! Oh, well I'll just I'll be taking my cabin table and I'll just be trying to leave ow ow okay 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 come on come on come on come on come on okay <sighs> after fighting the blazes my food supply is almost completely gone i was looking for mushrooms to pick when i was attacked by blazes <gasps> no are you kidding my health kept ticking down pushing me closer to the brink of death but i survived i continued to look for mushrooms to make mushroom soup with how much mushrooms did i get oh uh, 20 nice that portal's almost constructed down there i found a ruined nether portal if i can find enough obsidian to repair the portal i'll be able to leave the nether oh one obsidian got one obsidian put that there and then i would just need one two so i need to get two obsidian from trading with piglins so let me see how long does this take to mine oh i think it made a little bit of progress <gasps> why why is there an enderman why i didn't even look at you 
Where did that even come from? What? I did not look at a single Enderman. Did those guys do it? They're looking a little suspicious over there. You better stay away from me. Okay, well, back to mining crying obsidian then. Oh, I broke it. Oh, now I just need to break one more. That only took like a minute. Okay, three, two, ooh, ooh, one. W one. There you go. Predicted it. I'm. Man, I'm just really smart. There are two things I need to do before I can leave the nether. First, I need to collect ender pearls from endermen. Second, I will need to gather gold in order to barter with piglins. This will give me obsidian so that I can repair the portal and leave the nether. I started the first task of collecting ender pearls. Now, there's an ender pearl. This guy, though. Yep, got him on me. Come on, are you gonna teleport? What is he doing? Why is he nodding his head like that? Okay, what about you? Are you a more normal enderman? What are they? Why are they both doing it? Okay, these guys are just creeps. I, don't, I have no idea what they're doing. Oh no! I feel bad for doing that. Oh, 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 I angered two of them. Okay, there's 15. This could be it. This could be the last one. There it is, 16. 15, 16. Now that I've gathered all the ender pearls that I will need, I can start working on my second task of repairing the portal. I started mining gold to trade with the piglins found around the nether. 20, 24 gold. Should be enough. There's one, there's one. One more obsidian, and then I can leave the nether finally. <sighs> I don't think I'm getting it. After bartering with the piglins, I got one obsidian and still need one more. Instead of mining more gold, I decided to search the nether fortress for chests that contain gold. Ooh. <gasps> uh, okay, I'm just gonna make a, make a diamond axe. Oh my God, so much stuff has spawned here. I took all of my gold and went to trade with the piglins one last time. Take the gold. I'm sure you guys have one obsidian. And I got the obsidian. Okay, well, I got my two obsidian. Oh, I got three. Wait, these guys are the best piglins ever. I went to repair the portal and leave the nether. <laughs> Do I actually get to leave? I haven't even seen the light. I've never seen the sun before. But I think now, after all this time, I'll finally be able to. Because all I have to do is place one obsidian, two obsidian, and light the portal. I can finally leave. <laughs> I've been here for so long. So long I've been here. I'm out. <laughs> I'm free and I'm just in a dark dark cave underground somewhere after leaving the portal I found myself in a dark cave deep under the ground. At least that means I can mine some iron Okay, maybe not that was one piece of iron. I was hoping that might be a little bit more I took my pickaxe and dug myself out of the cavern. Oh Wait, this is it the sky. Where's the Sun? Oh This there isn't a Sun. Oh, it's just Oh, it's setting. Now that I'm in the overworld, I will need a new source of food. I won't be able to find any more mushrooms for my soups. Oh, is that a pig? Is it? Is that a cow? It is. There's two cows. Three cows. Oh, food. Real food. My first taste of real food. Oh, it's so great. I crafted my eyes of ender and used them to locate the stronghold. There are 19 eyes of ender. That's definitely a bit more than what I need. That's okay. Over here, okay. I found some sheep. Using their wool, I can make beds, which will be a useful weapon when fighting the ender dragon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so much food. I haven't seen that much food in so long. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of bread. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm, I'm 100% sure I'm good on food. Okay, I, I seriously must have passed the stronghold by this point. Nope, I got further to go, all right. I've been traveling for like a thousand blocks, at least. Is that behind me? Did I wander off or is it here? Oh, it knows right here. Okay. I found the location of the stronghold, but I was having issues with the new 1.18 update. Yeah, I've got to be getting close to the stronghold. Or in 1.18, is it way deeper now? Oh, oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, they just made it way deeper. What level is this? This is like bedrock level or old bedrock level, I guess, not anymore. I entered the stronghold. Now all I need to do is find the ender portal. Oh, here it is. And there it is. After doing some last minute preparations, I entered the end. Let me just throw out a bunch of my garbage. Boop, make a bunch of beds. I think I'm all ready. Unfortunately, I don't have a bow. I think this is it. After all the struggle, after going, going through the nether like that, I'm finally at the end and I'm going through. I don't have a bow, so I will need to slowly build up each tower. Here I am. Oh, I don't have a water bucket either. Why didn't I get a water bucket? Not having a water bucket makes this boss battle extremely risky especially because I was building up each tower. A fall from that height would be fatal. Why did I not get a water bucket? I'm actually gonna die without a water bucket. Oh, all these towers are so short. Thank you, game. Okay, it's going well. Got like half the towers down. Three towers left. Okay, I'm gonna do something risky here. Okay, it worked, it worked. Okay. Oh, I'm one heart. I used my last ender pearl as well. I have to build across. I don't have enough blocks to build up. Just be a nice dragon. Be a nice dragon. Be a good dragon. Be a good dragon, please. Please. Iron bar. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 
That's all the tower's gone. Wait, how am I gonna get down here though? Okay, I didn't think this through. Uh, I have iron bars. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I did not think this through. Unfortunately, all my blocks are gone now, but all towers are destroyed and I am ugh, safely back on the ground. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, well, I missed the bed. He went away a little quick. I might have to try and get one or two axe wings in before I do the bed because that did not do great damage. He's about a third, a third of the way held down. He's got about two thirds left. That's not that bad. Two axe wings then explode the bed. I should get a lot of damage doing that. Okay, or I'll get no damage. Great. The dragon fight was starting to frustrate me. Here he goes. Okay, well, this is the most annoying dragon fight I've had in a long time, but eventually I got the hang of it and began to do some damage to the dragon. Okay, that was good. Okay, I think I think the meta is just one axe swing, then explode the bed, unfortunately. Oh, finally, finally. Okay, I just gotta, I just gotta do this very quick. I have about three seconds to get damage in. Boom! And there it is. And with one final bed, the dragon is defeated. I did it. A whole three seconds. If I spent a second longer on that, man, he would have gone back up and I would have had to wait. After a rough start, I beat the game, showing that even if you start at the bottom, it's possible for you to make your way to the top. As my journey came to an end, I stepped into the portal, officially beating the game. Goodbye.